Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta talk about this. We're gonna get into it immediately. We got asteroid hitting the moon caught on camera. We got some UFO footage as well. We got a UFO falling from the sky, allegedly. We're gonna get into it. Roll it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. This is how the monster debris floor arrives. Hey family, Holy. hope you guys are doing great and safe. I'm back with another video. So fasten your seat belts. Let's get started. This what monster is, is not on, taking a bath in soap. He's trying to remove the soap desperately because someone put the soap onto him to make a funny video. Damn it. The same soap someone put it on to get a funny video. Holy, showing how cruel humans can be. This creature is known as the most powerful in the world. It possesses immortality making it impossible to kill even if its heart is lost it can regenerate this is axol tall also known as the mexican walking fish it is an amphibian that resembles a lizard that black eyes and a slightly smiling mouth giving it a cute and adorable appearance it mainly found in forested areas of north america and feeds on centipedes and earthworms of course it is also an exceptionally bizarre creature capable of photographing photosynthesis like a plant to obtain nutrients and it Holy. can also breathe underwater using gills making it a typical amphibian what's even more terrifying it's a rare ability of immortality regenerate. not only can it regenerate lost limbs but even its spine liver brain heart and all over the tissues and organs can be completely regenerated you forget like the lizard thing in spider-man right that would uh, use the lizard dna or whatever the bull squash was to regenerate the hand right the arm we saw that right you know what i'm talking about right they should have used this my question is that when was this creature discovered and what happens if you eat it though if you eat it of course it would die right but does that mean that it's gonna become alive when it's inside you holy crap got so many questions man i'm, I'm sure like the scientists are conducting studies on it to find out if he can be immortal one day right thank you for subscribing how terrifying is the number of macrophage immune cells when its bodies uh these cells quickly migrate to the injured area and regenerate according to the original memory if the regenerative ability of the axolot could be applied to the human body then humanity might truly possess immortality damn when was this creature found this is the world's most deadliest job on earth. They earn $30,000 a month, but it's more dangerous than being a Navy SEAL. Meet underwater welders on offshore oil rigs. Yep, they dive deep into the ocean where the pressure is enough to crush you. Imagine working in near darkness with only a helmet and light, frigid water all around you. You are tethered to the surface by a lifeline, the only thing keeping you from disappearing into the abyss. Every breath is struggle against the water trying to force its way in. One wrong move and it's light out. Functioning gear is not inconvenience, it's a death sentence. You weld with electricity surging through the water. One wrong move and you are electrocuted. Think you can handle the cold hypothermia can set in within minutes, numbing your fingers, stealing your focus and current. The shift without any warning and slamming you against the steel beams. I, I think they deserve to get more than $30,000 a month though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're playing with... So how deep we're talking about... Guys, now I'm gonna show you some clips that shows that life is a glitch. Let's watch the videos. Simulation glitch in real life. I, I think it's just the the M and M's and the Skittles doing the Easter eggs together. You can catch simulation glitching in real life. <laughs> Damn, homie. Bro, like, uh, why are you saving your calories? What you're saving your calories for? Just reach for it and grab it instead of doing that. Here's HD version of this video from my phone. No. Say psych right now, bro. Say psych.
Matrix level, Matrix glitch level three. Holy, so that's like a mirror thing, huh? Why is she frozen? Bro, I'm tripping. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Bro, what in the fuck? A uh, glitch in the Matrix? The motherfucker is just floating there. Dead. Yeah, that's like a floating there, huh? There's nothing huh? around it. It's moving slightly. Just floating there. But floating indeed. <laughs> After work, a girl encountered a wet little crow. The little fellow seemed very well behaved, so the girl fed it some food. The crow was a bit shy and ran away after eating. But so the girl fed it, it showed up again outside the girl's house. Upon seeing the girl, it joyfully squawked and didn't fly away when she approached. The girl enthusiastically fed it some food, and subsequently, it started to frequently appear in her front yard and backyard. Whenever the girl greeted it, it would fly down. From then on, she prepared three meals a day for it, and the little- Man, like, even I don't eat three times a day, bro. Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, eating three times a day, man. Like, that's crazy, bro. Crow seemed to enjoy eating them a lot. As they became familiar with each other, it let its guard down and completely trusted people. A few days later, the girl unexpectedly found a few coins, followed by jewelry. No way! Bro, okay, where's that crow? You, I gotta do this. So you're saying that the crow went ahead and started stealing like actual jewelry stuff to bring it back to repay her back for the generosity? Man, I'm yo, holy crap! Like, is this even real, man? I need to find me like uh, 10, 10, 20 crows. I'm gonna start feeding them every day and bring me some gold bars right now, bro. Even money brought by the little crow. The little guy is very intelligent. It seems to understand that there's no such thing as a free lunch. So it brought things it thought humans would like to the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen an asteroid hitting the moon? Then this is the video for you. I'm not sure whether this is real or not, but this guy also show his setup how he recorded it. Let's oh. watch the video. Okay, so, uh, real time? Real time? Like, yeah, shout I, out need, and I need scientists, I need uh, some FBI analyst on this one because uh, I read some comments and people are saying that there's no oxygen on the moon, so this, uh, how is there like, you know, uh, flame? How is it exploding exactly? Like, how are we seeing the fire? That's uh, impossible. So some people are saying it's easy fake like that. Special thank you to our supporters. Core of the North Vikings, Mad Hamill, Moon Sunsets, Jean Lumber, DJ Double, Michael Belcott, Giselle Van, Miol, XX Nighthawks, Keith Anderson, TCF70, and Gitpick. You can also join the channel membership and get oh, a shout okay. out like this. Okay, okay. Click on it. join button. I was like, what is Brad talking about though? Yeah, guys, uh, like and subscribe. D shout out to the homie, the traveler guy. If you want to help support the channel, become a member uh, by clicking the button next to the subscribe bell. It's like the Patreon thing, but on YouTube helps a lot. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. And check it out. That is wild. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Do you guys think it's what real you or thinking? do you think it's fake? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Real or fake? Yeah. Thank you all for watching. This is how most of the debris flow arrives whenever there are high rains in the mountains. Let's watch this video. Keep an eye on this bridge till the end okay. of the clip. Holy. Yeah, there is just so much, huh? Like, it's all debris here with water. It's like hot choco, hot chocolate kind of, right? When you mix in too much stuff in it, like... You can actually see all the... It says wait for it. So there is more? Damn. Yeah, that's a big one right there. That's a marshmallow right there. It's insane that, that it did not clog exactly up. That exactly knew where it was going. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, the timing was good, so it broke down near the The leading shop. force effect occurs when a liquid comes into contact with a surface significantly hotter than its boiling point, creating a vapor layer. I'm getting like massive vibes uh, from like the heroin, you know how like the junkies and the druggies use that. The only reason I know this is because I've seen uh, Breaking Bad and you know in Breaking Bad when Jesse and the chick, uh, both of them try out, the chick was like, okay, let's try out. She takes a spoon, got like a small like uh, fire thing or underneath, uh, puts in it like tick, 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 takes the injection and then like fuck, fuck, fuck like that. Like let's assume that this is the injection like tick, 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 and then like yeah, tick, tick, tick after that, right? Like... Uh, absolutely not recommending that guys stay away from drugs say no to drugs watch both ways before crossing the street all day every day okay eat healthy and smash the like button it becomes a pill uh the power of the sun huh Kinda looks like a sun, but now lava, magma, kinda. Oh my god. Okay, so now it's, uh. It's gonna disappear completely? That's Voldemort! Dementors! Dementors! Keep the door closed! Keep the door closed! Whoa! Where's Viv? Whoa! Where's Viv? Where's Viv? Alright, you good? You good? Oh my god. Jake. Me when I bust my lord inside my non existing girl, by the way. Are you okay? I'm Come still in. on the market. Bruh. Get out of here. Holy, that flood's crazy. Yeah, I don't think it's safe to stand oh, there because if the, if the electric wire uh, hits the water, you know? A police officer is called upon to help a new mom buy food for her one week old baby. In the middle of the night, police in Miami, Ohio say they got a frantic phone call from a new mom in need of some help. Her breast milk dried up and she needed food for her newborn. So at 3 a.m., the officer went in search of it at the grocery store. Naturally, most stores are closed at this hour, but he was persistent. Someone was inside and could help him. Finally, someone heard him banging on the glass and let him in. I have one mighty bright light I know, there. You may not be able to help me. There is a mom who has, has, she said her milk dried up and she has no, she can't find anywhere to buy formula. Is there anywhere, anybody in here can turn on a cash register? I guess so. Okay. He got to the formula aisle and settled on Similac, then got confused when he saw other similar options. What the heck's the difference? Someone in the store came to assist. What else do you need? This is it. Yeah. I just need formula. Yeah, she said she just doesn't have any formula and her head of breast milk is dried up. So her baby's a week old. Yeah, she had a bottle. He then picked out a bottle for the baby and headed back to the mom with his purchase. Malaysia's uh -huh. 100 US billion dollars. Well, uh, hope in humanity restored. Uh, this Malaysian ghost town has become the perfect TV location. China based forest city was mean to house 7 lakh people, but almost no one lived there. And that makes the ghost town a great place for TV producers to film their shows. We have no hits. Why would I trust anyone? I'm here to play, I'm here to win. Backstab, sabotage, I'll do it. Hello, Mole. 100 billion dollars, damn, homie. Can a brother get two pennies or something? It was originally designed to house 700,000 people, but it's a uh, ghost town. But Chinese dev country garden has been facing a financial crisis. Nah, that's crazy. That's can be. Say it ain't so. Only a few thousand residents live here. By 2023, only about 15% of the property was completed. I guess they took all of it for themselves, so not too crowded, huh? South Korea KBS filmed you an episode. It might be really cool getting free stuff delivered to your home day after day. At first, it seemed too good to be true. 
then it turned into a nightmare. The first week or two, I was like, hey, this is kind of fun. It's like Christmas. Now it's just like, it got so overwhelming. Okay, this is our hat section. Some belts. Isabel Wood also received pleather jackets, a karaoke oh. machine, Ooh. chess and checker sets, but it doesn't stop there. Here she is today. Industrial strength toenail clippers. The 27 year old who lives outside Chicago says she has hundreds of items that she never ordered piling up. Wow, what's that? It's a camera. And there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. This is uh, another steering wheel lock. We have about five of these. This is my dad's favorite. It's a crawfish trap. The weirdest delivery? It's cat perfume. You spray it on your cat. Stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's so <laughs> Yo, what? Even cats got perfumes? Oh my goodness, bro. So she has been getting like all the free stuff delivered to her. It's, uh, yeah, maybe that's uh, your fan, I guess, uh, the sending, man. I wish sometimes I was a girl too, man, because, uh, you know, like girls be getting all the free stuff, man. You know, guys be taking care of all the females, bro. Like, that's that's crazy, bro. There was so much, she enlisted her dad, Tim, to store the items. I went over there and looked at him first to kind of see what we've got. And I had to go back and get a different car to put it all in because the car I had was too little. The packages are all addressed to the same person, first name Romeo, and they were all shipped from Timu. Uh, it was a simp. It was a simp. I knew it. I knew it. It was a, her simp, man. Yeah, she living on recruit difficulty for us. <laughs> it's an online marketplace operated out of China. Isabel says she contacted Timu, but the packages kept coming. People all over the country are reporting they're receiving packages that they didn't order. The U.S. Postal Service warns it could be part of a big scam called brushing. What this true, means true. is that there has been a merchant or a seller on the e-commerce platform who has gotten your address, sent you this free item, yeah. all so that they can go on, pose as you, and write a rave five-star review without you knowing about it. The good news? You can keep it. I mean, if uh, if they're just going to leave a five star rating for a product, it's like, uh, yeah, who cares? Right. Like that's not going to hurt you specifically, but that can hurt like a like a future buyer, let's just say, because they're going to have a false uh, idea of the product. Uh, uh, but of course, it's going to be alarming if you're getting uh, these three products like this. I mean, she got like <laughs> an entire store worth of it. And apparently a lot of other people are getting. Yeah, it's going to be alarming for sure. Uh, uh, and more so than that, it's uh, how did somebody got your ad? Address. Was it because of a data leak? Because of a breach that happened on a website? Because, yeah, breaches happen all the time on these websites. Your data is never secure, right? Your login information, your... This is why they say, yeah, never, like, save your credit card information. You can buy stuff online, but don't, like, save your credit card information. In fact, like, you don't want to even store your uh, login information on your own home computer. We all do it because it's a uh, convenience, right? Like, you want to go on Facebook, boom, you just enter F, auto completes it, you go on Facebook, Facebook and guess what you're already logged in there uh, Instagram same for that uh, Twitter X same YouTube same but but if uh, you download something that contains a virus it can hijack your information it can steal your cookies that's what it's called like you know the the web browser cookies right yeah, it steals that and then they can replicate it and they can bypass the two-step verification system if you have that set up it doesn't even matter at that point even if you, even if you have this USB uh, key uh, those of you that know yeah that USB key right Basically, you need to enter that manually to be able to log in. But if your cookies are stolen, like, they can bypass even that. So, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. If you want to. It's a crawfish. Nothing is safe, essentially. Get off the hammock. Just relaxing, this bear decided to chill on a hammock in a Vermont home's backyard. With man. another bear watching with delight. But the homeowner who captured nature was not so thrilled after a while. A, of course. A long enough video before the I other bear was like, it's my turn, jackass. It's my turn, dummy. Let me actually hop on too. I had to scare them off because you're not really supposed to let them too close to your house. <laughs> you do want to tell them to go away. Noah Dweck says bears are common in his neck of the woods. We, we live in a very active bear basin. The bears are very used to human contact. Um, so I'm assuming they have found other people's hammocks before. Um, uh, to be honest, it was pretty impressive that he didn't fall off or she didn't fall off of the hammock um, and was kind of knew how to do it. Um, it was it was quite funny to see. The bears seemed to stay put until they were scolded. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm just uh, impressed that that thing did not fall off, right? 
Get off the helmet. Like, it's still good. It's still good. He's still chilling. Hey. He's still chilling. And then... Real life transformer from a BMW car. Oh man, I want one of these. But is it like actually drivable? I doubt. Yes, it can transform, it's super slow, but very impressive, uh, needless to say. Yeah, the design not that crazy good, but okay, pretty good. Guys, check out this video on the screen if you love these videos. I got the last, I've done another episode on it. Check out the last episode here. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.